Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Anita Louise. Today I'm going to show you how I make these cute little chrysanthemum hanging ornaments for fall. Now I have a video tutorial on how to crochet the little flowers and the pattern is on my blog. I also have a video crochet along tutorial on how to make the little leaves. So I will link all of those down below to the blog and to the videos. Once you've made the flowers and the leaves, you can link them together to make these cute little hanging chrysanthemum ornaments that you can put wherever you like. I like to hang them on the doorknobs around my house because it gives just a little added touch of color for autumn. And I like to kind of hang them around my fall artwork and stuff too. So you can do whatever you like with them. It's really fun and easy to do and adds just a bit of color and a bit of fall. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made these. All right, so we've got all of our beautiful chrysanthemums and all of the beautiful colors of fall. And for this project, you're going to need some of the crocheted chrysanthemum flowers. I will link the video down below and the pattern as well for that. And you will need a couple of the crochet leaves. These fun little chrysanthemum leaves, all crazy and curly looking. I love them. I will link this pattern and video down below as well. Ooh, I have a glue gun on my nails. That is from the other video I just did. I was gluing spiders on doilies to make a beautiful, elegant spider doily webs. I'll link that down below too, because it was really fun to do. You guys might like that. <clears throat> so we're going to start out with our size 10 crochet cotton. We're going to make a little slip knot. We're going to grab our size six crochet hook. There we go. And we are just going to chain 100. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, hundred. Ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now for this particular project, um, we're not doing any kind of like, you know, intricate stitching across or anything like that. So if you're off by one or two, that's okay. It's not gonna matter. It'll just make your, um, your little, hanging part of your flower that much longer, and that is totally fine. So if you're at 102 or 99, that is okay. All right, so for this project, for this video, I'm going to use my mauve and my white flowers because you know how I love my pink. So let's start with our white. It's kind of a nice vintage ivory white. So now I have 100 chains on here. What I'm going to do is just go into the flower here and slip into the place where I closed my flower. There's, uh, so this is actually two flowers sewn together and I'm going right into the slip stitch where I attached those flowers. I'm just gonna slip my hook in there, bring my yarn around, whoop, and I'm going to do a little slip stitch through there. Just like so. There we go. So now we have attached our flower to our chain. Now what I'm going to do is slip stitch into my chain. And then slip stitched into the next chain. So I'm just gonna slip stitch through 20 of them. So that is two. This just makes our chain a little bit thicker. And once we get down to 20, we're going to attach a leaf. Now I'm just using a pretty green color, but I thought it might be kind of funny, fun too, to try a 
maybe a variegated green or something, so I may try that one of these days. But I like this olive colored green. It was a nice fall color. Nice pine green might be a nice fall green as well. Here we go. All right, I totally lost count, so let's take a look and see where we are. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Here's 17, 18, 18, 19, and 20. And same thing with this, if you're not exactly at 20, that's totally fine because you don't really want your leaves to be evenly placed anyways. So I'm actually counting so that I do not evenly place them. So on the other side, I'm gonna make sure that I'm either closer or farther than 20, if that makes sense, because I don't want them to be exactly the same. They're flowers and you know, leaves don't uh, exactly appear symmetrically on flowers all the time. I mean, I guess sometimes they do, but um, you know, they're a little bit wild and crazy, it's nature. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and slip into the bottom of my leaf. And just like I did the flower, I'm going to grab onto my yarn and just pull that little stitch through. And now our leaf is attached to our vine. Now I'm going to continue with my slip stitches. And let's see, maybe we'll do 30 this time maybe. I don't know, sounds good. All right, so one. next leaf. There we go. We're going to slip our needle into the bottom of our leaf. And we're just going to grab our yarn, wrap it around, and pull it on through. Now our next leaf is attached. Now let's see. We can attach our next one. Hmm. Let's count down to like and maybe right there, so it's in between the other two leaves. So let's see how far that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hmm. It's about twenty. So let's do another twenty to attach our next leaf. So and you can attach your leaves wherever you want. And if you want more than three leaves, you can do that. If you only want two leaves, you can do that too. It's whatever you want. It's your little hanging chrysanthemum ornament. So you can do it however you like. You know, you could even attach a whole bunch of chrysanthemums together, like, um, you know, and make a garland. So that would be really cool. Thought about doing that, but I really like hanging these over the doorknobs in my house just gives like a little bit of fall to each room so I'm thinking I'm going to keep mine as little doorknob hangers oh god I lost count y'all so let's take a look we've got oh and the little string from your leaf will get kind of attached in there you might just crochet right over it and that's cool because you're going to trim it off in the end so if you crochet over it a little bit it just gives you a little more um 
like um, I like guess stability in it because you're crocheting over it so you're not cutting it right close to the leaf so either way all right so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so here's ten So we did 20 and then 30, that's 50, and another 20. So we have 30 left. So then this one, this leaf will be a little bit farther away from this flower than this one is from this flower. So they're not exactly even, so I like that. So let's add our other leaf. We're just going to, once again, slip into the bottom of the leaf, wrap our yarn around and pull it on through and our third leaf is attached and then we're going to slip stitch down the rest of our stem so that we're all the way to the end. reached our very last chain now we get to attach our other flower so we're going to grab our little pink flower here and same thing we're going to go ahead and slip into the slip stitches that we used to attach the flower sides together and we're going to just loop around and pull our yarn through now we have oh, I have an extra loop there now we have two flowers attached now what I'm gonna do here is pull my yarn out a little bit and I'm going to snip the end and just pull that loop out. Now to get rid of these ends, all I do is put my hook into the flower somewhere and push it up to where those ends of yarn are. I'm going to just grab one little piece of yarn and pull it all the way down through the flower. Oh, sometimes you lose it because it gets stuck on all the, the stuffing in the flower. If that's okay, just go ahead and go pull it through just like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece of yarn. And we're just going to pull it on down through the flower. And once we've got both pieces of yarn through there, we're going to snip all that stuffing and yarn away so that it's not sticking out of our beautiful flower. So just snip that away. Make sure you carefully don't cut your flower. There. Don't forget to snip away the little yarns on your leaves. There we go. Just snip away all the little ends from our leaves. There we go. We have our cute little chrysanthemum or hanging ornament. So cute. And you can put that wherever you want. You can hang it on doorknobs. You can hang it, well, anywhere. <laughs> you can even make a garland out of them. How cute would that be? There we go. Thanks for joining me, guys. Great job. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun making little hanging chrysanthemum ornaments. 
and I hope your house is just covered in beautiful fall colors and crocheted chrysanthemums. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, so you can see a new fun little project every Thursday. And give this video a thumbs up like if you liked it. Thanks guys, see you next week. Thank <music> you.